Riverside has some powerful new live streaming tools like lower thirds while you're recording. Stream to multiple destinations and up to 1080p, brand your studio which will be visible to your audience, and an Omnichat where you can see comments from multiple platforms all in one place in your Riverside studio. I'm gonna go through all these new features to show you how you can create engaging live streams with Riverside. Let's jump in and here we are in our studio. The first thing you'll notice is a new live streaming destination tool here in the top toolbar. If we expand this menu, we can quickly enable Riverside audience mode, which will allow you to live stream directly on the Riverside platform. It also allows for things like live call-ins from your guests and more. We put the audience link conveniently right underneath that so you could share it on social media or with your audience. Underneath that, you can add multiple social platforms and destinations and broadcast to all of them simultaneously. Let's click the three dots. You'll see even more options here and let's add Twitch. You'll be prompted to log in with your Twitch account and then you'll see it added here below. I can click the plus icon again, add a Facebook page, YouTube channel, LinkedIn account, or even a custom RTMP destination. And once we start live streaming, your video will go to all of these platforms at the same time. You can also adjust the title and description that will appear to your live stream right here. Now for all of our standard and pro Riverside users, you have the option for the live studio add-on. With that, you can live stream to up to 1080p high definition streaming and remove the Riverside watermark. If you're on the Riverside business plan, you have all of these features already built in. To upgrade or access those features, click the gear icon here in the live streaming menu then you can set that 1080p HD streaming and remove the Riverside watermark here. Once you've set your live stream destinations, it's time to brand your studio. These are also new tools here in Riverside and I can access them by clicking the brand tool here on the right side. For all of our standard and pro users, you get two themes built in, both the Riverside theme and the newsflash theme. This will adjust the color behind your video and your name label in lower thirds as well. With the live studio add-on, you get access to many more colors and the option to set a custom brand color via hex code, and you can even upload a logo, and that can appear on your live stream as well. You can change the placement of that logo and code in that custom brand color. You can also upload a custom background image on that Live Studio add-on. I'm actually gonna go with the prismatic color option. I kinda like those colors, and I'll keep the logo there as well. Now the name style, you actually see it adjust the names there at the bottom, and this is going to adjust the lower thirds that are now available when you stream and record. I'm gonna go with the bold option and you can also choose to either fit the full 16 by nine video frame here and this will affect your live stream and remote guests as well or choose to fill the video. I'll show you what that looks like when you have remote guests here in the studio as well. And for our Riverside business platform users, you can actually bring this branding into the lobby. This way when your remote guests click that link to join your studio, they'll see your branding and logo right here on the page. Once we've branded the studio, let's get a few lower thirds ready before we start streaming. I'll click the text option here on the right and you'll see multiple lower thirds that I've created in the past. So you have my website URL, maybe lower third of a guest that's coming in, and we can add a lower third using the plus icon at the top. I'll type some text and you'll see a preview it here in the video on the left. I can save and show it right now, but let's actually go in to customize it even further. I can choose the size, small, medium, or large. I can choose colors, either a white, black, or the brand color for the studio. Choose the placement, left, center, or right. And I can even code in a timer. So when I show it, it will disappear after five, 10, 20 seconds, or I can choose to manually show and hide this lower third. I'm gonna choose five seconds and I can save and show it immediately, or I'm gonna choose to save for later. Then whenever I wanna activate one of these lower thirds while we're streaming, all I have to do is roll my mouse over. I can click show it, adjust the timer just by clicking the clock. And of course I can edit, duplicate, or remove a lower third using the three dot menu. When I show this title, you'll see the lower third appear here on the video, and after five seconds, it will remove itself automatically. In addition to lower thirds, you can share video and audio files while you're streaming by uploading them to the media board that can take up to 100 megabyte files, including video. You can click to preview it, click it live, then you, your remote guests, and anyone tuning in live will see the video clip as well. Now let's invite a guest, start streaming, and I'll show you the new OmniChat feature. I'll click the invite button here at the top, copy the guest link, and it looks like we have Ryan Reynolds joining us here in the studio. Let's start streaming and recording by clicking the go live button at the bottom. And remember, not only is this going to live stream to the Riverside audience mode and the social destinations we've added, but you're recording in high quality so you can download the raw video and audio files for you and every remote guest even after you're done streaming. I'll click go live, we'll get the countdown, and once that hits zero, we're now recording in high quality and streaming to all the destinations simultaneously. If you wanna preview or get the links to the stream on those destinations, I'll click the live record menu up here and I can click on a logo like the Twitch icon. And here's what the video looks like here on Twitch. 
Now right now I have the video filling the frame, but let's change that setting even live while we're recording and you can see the difference. I'll go back to the brand palette here on the right, choose to fit the video frame. You'll see a change here in the studio and that framing will change here on the live stream. And now you can see the full 16 by nine video for me and any remote guests. I'll go to my text overlay tool and let's do the Ryan Reynolds movie star. I'm actually gonna change it to 10 seconds. Let's show that lower third. I see it here in the studio. And for those watching on Twitch, they see that lower third pop up at the bottom as well. And because I have that 10 second timer, I don't even have to think about hiding it manually. I know that lower third will disappear automatically after 10 seconds. And there it goes. Now, if you're getting comments from multiple platforms like Twitch and YouTube, you can now manage them all in one place in Riverside. Let's say someone sent a chat here in Twitch. Well, now I can go over to the chat tool here in the Riverside studio and I see the live stream chat. Here you'll see messages from Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, all in one place. Now you can reply to those comments here, call out what platform that comment came from because you can see the little logo on the comment, and you can broadcast to all of those chat boxes right here in Riverside. Here I can see this comment came from an audience member watching on Riverside, you see the little logo there. I can also roll over this comment and show it on stream. This is a great way to do a live Q&A, then the audience members can feel a part of the live stream, and I can click the clock and choose how long this comment will appear on screen. I'll choose show on stream. You can see when I show that comment on screen, it's actually branded just like the rest of the studio. Now, in addition to the live stream chat, which will show you messages from every platform, you still have a studio chat, which is just viewable by your other remote guests, hosts, and producers here in the call. So if you need to communicate privately about what's going on in the show, you can do that here in the studio chat. And one other feature, you can see how many people are viewing on each platform by clicking the live record menu and seeing the audience number right there next to each platform. Now, once we're done streaming and recording, I'll hit the stop button here at the bottom, and those high quality video and audio files are being uploaded to my Riverside dashboard so I can edit it later. Here on the recordings page, I can generate AI show notes, which gives me a summary, keywords, and takeaways from the recording. Great to use in your podcast or YouTube video title and description. I can generate those magic clips, which will create vertical video automatically for my long form content. And of course, download the high quality raw video and audio files for me and every remote guest. And those are completely clean video files. None of the lower thirds or comments will show on that video. But if I wanna go in and edit this content, I can click the edit button in the top right corner and create a new edit all here in Riverside. I can edit my content just by selecting words and phrases and clicking delete, and I've edited my audio and video. I can search the transcript for a specific moment. Use our magic tools like set pace, which removes the perfect amount of silence. It'll tell me how many pauses and how much time is being saved. I can apply smooth speech, which will remove all filler words and unwanted sounds, and even apply magic audio, which will make any microphone, whether it's a built-in laptop or phone mic, sound studio quality. I can change the order of the tracks, adjust the layout, like adding spacing, rounding the corners, go up to brand, and then add a custom background image for this edit. I can put those animated captions on, and we have multiple animation styles for the active word, like reveal, boxed, scale, and more. We can preview that real quick, and you'll see those animated captions right here on the video. And don't forget we have text, image, and more overlays where you can add lower thirds this way here in the editor, adjust the size and color however you'd like, create visually engaging content by overlaying images. You can search for royalty-free images here, click one, adjust the opacity, make it full screen, and you can even upload your own custom images if you would like to overlay them throughout your content. You can also splice in video clips. I'll split the segments down here in the timeline, zoom in, and now I can roll my mouse over in between two sections like that, click the plus icon, and then I can pull from other Riverside recordings, other edits I've made, or upload video content to splice it here in my edit. I can also add content at the beginning and end for an intro outro, and when I'm ready to export, I'll click the purple export button in the top right corner, export up to 4K video, normalize audio so it's all the same volume, and export that video. Or jump into the audio section, export an MP3, and now you have a version for your audio podcast as well. And those are the powerful new live streaming features here in Riverside. If you have any questions about the Live Studio add-on or any of these live streaming tools, leave comments below this video. I answer those personally. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel because we have even more features coming very soon. And if you wanna learn more about how you can get your podcast in front of more people and why it's important to have a video version of your show, check out this video right up here. I talk about some of the changes in YouTube and how it's the best discovery platform for podcasts today. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.